uh, it's now her sitting with David Harbour, the great David Harbour. Good actor. Wonderful character actor. And another uh, yeah, some, some Some military guys. They're government officials. And her opening line is, you know, like the world's changed since Superman's gone. And you see a dude selling dead Superman t-shirts outside. Sure. And it's like, okay, this movie's really in the wake of the last film. Right. When Superman died. It takes died, place weeks after the end of Batman versus Superman. And you all remember at the end of Batman versus Superman when Superman died and it hit us so hard emotionally because we all believe that Superman is actually <laughs> truly dead. Even though Henry Cavill is... Announced in the cast of the Justice League. Yeah, because they're not gonna make a fucking Justice League movie without Superman. Wait, <laughs> Superman isn't dead? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you were so moved when he died. When he died, did the uh, did the rumble seats like? Did they like make you cry in some way? Did they like cut onions for they you? Stabbed so that... you in the heart. <laughs> <laughs> you, why didn't? Did you? you they, guys... did, they should do some onion chopping. You we should have seen, seen this, this in, 40X. in the rumble. That's what it's called, right? Forty. You're right. We should have seen it in the rumble. Uh, we should have it seen this. It would have been the constant yet. smell yeah. of like gasoline, like or whatever. Yeah, or yeah. shit, like just <laughs> fucking diarrhea piped into the theater. <laughs> this oh movie my God. like feels like being in a room filled with diarrhea. Really? So she's or, no gunpowder. That would have been perfect oh, yeah. for a movie yeah. theater. Or like fucking use condoms because the Suicide Squad's so wicked. Yeah, or dead pigs. Yeah. The, okay. Okay. So, so Amanda Waller is in this uh, <laughs> fucking restaurant. And she's like, the thing, I, I just have to point this out because this, this point drives it out. me insane. Point it out. She goes like, you know, you know, Superman's gone. We don't have someone to fight for us. Sure. We're lucky now that we live in a world with metahumans. The first big guy we got, Superman, happened to align with our politics. Sure. But what if the next guy doesn't? Right. And she's essentially saying we need to create yeah, a, a backup A deterrent. Yes. Right. Yeah. Something that is capable of combating someone as powerful as Superman if they decide to fight against us. Right. Excuse me. The last two movies were about how much the government hated Superman. Right. But then he sacrificed himself to stop the poop monster. But she says, like, we we're lucky that his politics aligned with ours. The last two, the first movie ends with him taking a satellite out of the sky sure. and being like, I don't fucking work for you. Right. I'll do what I want to do. Fuck you. And the second movie is people, like, vandalizing a statue. Yeah. No, I mean, it's true. that. But I, I think in retrospect, she's like, you know what? Well, that's the thing. She should be like, you know what? We didn't handle Superman the best. That's exactly what she should say. Um, In but retrospect, we're going to handle it better guy. next time. You know how? I There's this prison. <laughs> <laughs> and it's full of jerks. Put it in a hole and I threw away the hole, which is the dumbest line of dialogue I have ever heard. Bar There's none. so many lines like that that I th threw away the hole. That's like yeah. that's like the whole movie is those Put him in a hole and I threw away the hole. Um, so she's Ooh, like- she fucking Jeremy the Nowhere Man from- Yellow submarine? Yeah. Able to pick up maybe, holes and put them in his pocket? Maybe she is. It's a fucking outcast blue meanie? Was this uh, 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 Roadrunner and uh, Wiley Coyote? Thank you, Benjamin. You are welcome. Four trillion comedy <laughs> points. <laughs> so, here's my problem. She's like, yeah, well, what if the next guy? We need to be able to deal with him. For example, uh, what if he's vulnerable to boomerangs? I got just the guy, Captain Boomerang. What if he is in a swamp in Louisiana? Killer Crocs on the cake. Like, yeah. she comes up with the worst list of super villains that you could get to combat well, yeah. okay. an alien with, like, omnipotent powers. And the way the scene's constructed is for, like, 10, 15 minutes, we're just watching her in this restaurant dropping files in front of these people and yep. then you cut to a little a big flashy sort of like we get the title card and we get commercial the commercial for a hero it's like uh, a trading know. card you get a yeah. trading card with yeah. their stats and then you get a little glimpse of what they do it should have been a powerpoint presentation it should have been yeah, a PowerPoint. that's what those videos were. show don't tell ben, thank you. you like old fashioned technology though and this you know a lot of folders paper i mean i do i'm an analog guy yeah, i was gonna say <laughs> which is why he is the man in charge of a digital podcasting <laughs> network <laughs> <laughs> Where one of the podcasts is literally called UCB Digital. I would have loved to see her flick on a projector. Yeah. An overhead projector? Yeah. Ooh, with that yeah. kind of sound. Slides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She'd be like, Ch -ch -ch, killer croc. He's a croc. So, but this is the thing. She's like, let me explain all of these guys to you. Deadshot. And then we get this long, you know, the second introduction movie to Deadshot now. Where it's like, oh, you know. The greatest assassin who ever lived. Oh, he kills only for money. You better pay him. He's got a daughter, though. She's nice. She knows that he's comes bad, in the he, third like... introduction. No, you see her. You see her in both the, the second and third introductions. I oh, think. does she call him on the phone? Yeah. And okay. But anyway, I mean, we don't have to do every. But then, yeah. Harley Quinn. Oh well, the deal with Harley Quinn, of course, is that she was made crazy by the Joker. Here's the Joker. You know, we get this very long sequence. 
for each of them. Yeah. And then she's like, Captain Boomerang has a boomerang. Anyway. Uh, the first you know, time like, we're ever seeing Flash in costume in a movie is one second in a Captain Boomerang cutaway. true, cut yeah. Away. He has a boomerang and then the Flash caught him and there's the Flash catching him. He's a drunk Australian. He's crazy. Uh, and then you've got um, uh, Killer Croc. Well, you know, he's a guy who turned into a crocodile and we're like, he, he did? <laughs> his, his power is essentially that he looks gross. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's a garbage pail kid. He doesn't seem to necessarily be stronger. Yeah, he's not even as big as I thought he was going to be. No. He's played by a very big actor. Yeah. And Adewale, but, but you know Akbaje, what I think part that, of the, yeah. the effect is there? He's a very tall man. I think the makeup they put on him broadens him broadens so him much a little bit. Yeah, that yeah, it makes yeah. him look shorter and squatter. Sure. He doesn't look as tall. Yeah. Uh, then there's El Diablo. What's El Diablo's deal? <sighs> He has fire, makes fire. Anyway, uh, and then there's Enchantress, and we're like, who the fuck's Enchantress? Well, this lady who found an Aztec god in a bottle in an excavation, and the Aztec god took her over. And you're like, why didn't we hear about the Aztec goddess first? That's a cool fucking story, She, she too. seems really like all you need. I don't know if you need the boomerang guy. He seems like a C-list, you know, like, just, just... Let's work at all our efforts on Captain Aztec Boomerang's goddess. power is that he has two boomerangs. <laughs> one is a regular boomerang. Right. And one has, like, a camera on it. Right. <laughs> so he can look at things. And, and they, he's basically just like Deadshot. He's just yeah. really good with a boomerang. And also, and I'm going to borrow this joke because I was just listening to Fighting in the War Room, another fun podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt Patches said that his power is that he can just produce a beer. <laughs> 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 he could just like pop a beer out of nowhere for some reason. Yeah, um, He's but just it, like, oh, I've got a beer, don't I, mate? Uh, Enchantress is a witch who looks like Pigpen, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's got this sort of sentient cloud of dirt that just sort of hovers around her. Yeah, she's a DC character who I'm, a, in my knowledge of her, wears clothes. Correct. But this time she's not doing that. No, not she's at all. Got she's a little. She's bikini. going uh, almost a, a near bikini. Orlando Bloom performance here. <laughs> <laughs> She's blooming she it. She basically has black boxes floating in front of Can her. Can I tell you just very quickly my my thing about the Orlando Bloom penis? I know we got off the subject. Uh huh. The dick is great. I'm happy that I've really seen it dick. now. Really good, dick. Good, dick. good dick. But like the fact that we got to see it, whether or not he constructed the the event and you know wanted it to be released for press or to deter people away from her or whatever it was. I get you. I wish it had been in a movie instead. And when I'm looking at his penis, which I'm now doing on an hourly basis, you know, I got to check in again and see if I still like it. It's the background on your phone. The first thought that comes into my head is, not like this. <laughs> That's a, an extreme callback, guys. Not like this. Not like this. APOC. APOC. Lights. <laughs> hey, and let us Lights. know Let us know what <laughs> dicks that you want to see on the big screen, guys. Yeah, Hashtag, uh, I want to see that dick. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was going to say. Enchant. No, no, no. I was going to say hashtag dick flicks picks. Which dicks do you want to see in flicks? Make your picks. Pick dick. <laughs> pick flick dicks. Flick sticks. That's great. Netflix. Net, net dicks. Picks. Tricks. So all of that in a hashtag. Yeah. So that full sentence. Okay. So we get that set up. Yeah. It is oh, a yeah. little haphazard. But yes, Enchantress is the only one you need. Enchantress and like, seems a little more powerful than the rest of them. Enchantress is a twenty-one-year-old doctor, right? right? Who likes to Played go by spelunking. Cara Delevingne. How do you? Delevingne? Yeah, Cara Delevingne. Who likes to go spelunking, and then every once in a while, uh, Viola Davis has her heart. No, this is the thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. In those cute little flashcards, yeah. it says, like, has an ancient brother called Incubus who is a thousand million years yeah. old and wants to kill everyone. And so you, and I remember, like, glimpsing this and being like, oh, that, huh. seems, that seems like That's a, a lot problem. Of information. So they ask her, right, how yeah. do you control the, and she's like, oh, I got a heart. Right here. Got a heart in a suitcase. In a suitcase. I poke it when I want to. Yeah. It's really uh, efficient measure of control. She, like, pokes it with a chopstick, practically. Yeah. And then they're like, that's all you do to control her? And she's like, no, I did another thing. I teamed her up with a guy to be her security detail who I knew would fall in love with her. That's, like, a terrible idea. What is that controlling? That That's adding more chaos. And also, Amanda, how can you know the mysteries of the human heart? I mean, these things are so unpredictable. So she teamed... <laughs> Enchantress up with Rick Flag, uh, the most charismatic and exciting member of the who Suicide is Squad. A man yep. with guns and a flat top haircut, played by Joel Kinnaman, who's yep. a, is a, in the is military. a man. Yeah, yeah. Joel Kinnaman is a man. He's he's very good with weapons. We're told because the team was really light on that. You know, yeah. not enough weapons training in the team. We got that guy whose superpower is best at guns. Yeah, shoots guns. And the dude whose power is boomerang. <laughs> 
shoots boomerangs. <laughs> and we got Harley Quinn who weaponizes her sexuality. <laughs>